Okay, we're back. We're back. Hello, everyone watching this. Um, initially, who was unaware of the fact that during this beautiful unboxing, um, I opened this up and the packing slip was right there. My dress was right there. Um, I wasn't going to keep that. Hello, everyone. I apologize. Let's wait for everyone to come back. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Blame Kmart, not me. Blame Kmart for the fact that I had to restart. I was only two minutes into the first stream. So we're all good. We're already we're already one fourth the way back to where we were before. At least with uh at least with uh the time. We gotta wait for everyone to come back in because we had 40 viewers. That was crazy. So let's wait. Um let's start off the way I started the other one off. <laughs> Talking about this Jack Sparrow. I got this at the thrift store along in another bag. Um, he's do -do 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 um, John Sparrow. I have not seen Pirates of the Caribbean. I feel kind of bad. But, um, yeah, I have this Jack Sparrow now. I'm not sure who made it. I'm not sure the company. Please let me know in the comments or in the live chat because I don't know. It's not NECA. Um, because, as I said in the first stream, um, I, uh, I don't think it's NECA because it's actually durable and not terrible. Uh, well, I, I like NECA stuff. I it, I don't think it's... I know there's another company that made... This is not McFarlane. Uh, I know there's another company that made Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. But we'll have to see. Um, I really do apologize to everyone who was like, Oh, wait, why did he immediately st uh, stop the stream? Um, we've got most of everyone back. So that's good. Uh, we're, everyone's coming back. Uh, <laughs> Professionalism! That's what you strive for on the J4 channel. Uh, one of these things I'm unboxing, I've been waiting for for, for years, so I'm really excited. Uh, so let's, let's move Captain Jock Sparrow. This is not the Big Bad Toy Store box. This is another box I got from Kmart, of all places. The place that put the shipping label and the address smack dab on the bottom of the box. Um, so as you can see, uh, it's a... Uh, I've been looking for this thing, right? Um, this is That's all it is. I've been looking for this thing. Um, I don't know if it's just not available in the stores or something. If you don't know me, you should know that I'm a massive Mr. Freeze fan. Um, and I've been looking for this thing in stores, online. And it's like a $10 12-inch figure. And I, I, it's not available. But I looked on Kmart.com, good old Kmart.com, the place no one shops. And they had it. Uh, I have not turned it around yet. You'll see my initial reaction to this beautiful figure right now. Ooh, that's nice. Ah, oh, that's nice looking. Ah, oh, that's a nice, nice looking Mr. Freeze, man. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. <laughs> I like it. Uh, let's open it up and see how cool it actually is. Woohoo! Hey, we got all 40 people back. What's up? I have not been looking at the car. <coughs> Fuck. I I ate. I ate Frisch's Big Boy. What's your favorite thing? Oh, man. I am completely ruining this. But that's okay. Um, it's not like this thing, this box will be worth a damn anyway. 43 viewers. It's crazy. Um, okay. Ugh. How do we get you out, Mr. Freeze? Ouch! Ooh! Ah! Damn! Those rubber bands really hurt. Ah, so if you don't know what this is, this is basically Mattel's answer to Hasbro's really crappy 12-inch figures. Um, just to show you, all the way up in that corner, I have one of the crappy 12-inch clones. But this is Mattel's answer to those. And Mattel's answer was, hey, let's actually make them articulated and not terrible. And then everyone at Mattel was like, hey, that's a good idea. So that's what they did. And... I don't have any of them yet until now. Uh, if you know me, you know I'm just a toy fan. I just like toys and action figures. So I've been wanting to check out one of these 12-inch Mattel figures. And, hey, they made a really, really nice-looking... This is probably one of the nice, nicest-looking Mr. Freeze figures I have, man. I'm not even joking. Dude, this is really nice. Can you remove the... All oh, you can. You can remove it. Oh, it's taped on. That's... Sorry, he's so tall, I can't even... 50 viewers! Oh my god! It's crazy! I think it's probably the most I've ever had. They taped the helmet on. So that's why it wasn't coming off. I'm like, oh, is it, is it just going to break on me? No, at least the helmet is removable. So you can actually 
look at Mr. Freeze's beautiful face, which is actually a really good Mr. Freeze face. Ah, really like it. Dude, this thing's really articulated. I mean, it doesn't have ankles and it doesn't have thigh swivel, but it pretty much has everything else you'd really want from an action figure nowadays. This retails for 10 bucks. Ooh, okay, okay, we're good. That elbow is not wanting to turn and I was worried it was gonna break, um, but no, we're good. We're Gucci fam. Why do people say Gucci? It's terrible. Stop it. Just stop. Stop Stop saying that. Stop breathing. Stop trying to contribute to society because you're just failing. Dude. Look at this Mr. Freeze. Oh my god. That's really nice. Um, I uh, for This cost me like 15 shipped. I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. Ooh. Oh, man. That was nice. Good start to the stream with that Mr. Freeze. Uh, I might review it. I don't know. It doesn't seem like something anyone else would review. Uh, <laughs> um, with someone asking, I just see someone mentioning my address. Why Was someone asking why I had to restart? Because, yeah, I opened up this box and boom, there's my address. So I immediately went and stopped that stream and deleted it. <laughs> um, seems like everyone's just saying, like, Hey, hentai, what's going on? Um, okay. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm good. I think I'm good. So, what we'll do, I've sh I've unboxed a thing, and the next, I think we'll go into some thrift store stuff. Then at the very end, we'll unbox the big boy. The big boy. Ah, oh, man. If you've been following me, do beards scare me? No, man, I have a beard. I love beards. So first up, we got some cars. We got a spider car. It's not Spider-Man, so I don't care. Um, this is so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. We got a monster truck. Monster truck. Uh, no, I don't. And don't say that I do, because that's wrong. Blaine Hoover. Yeah, I know who you are. I see your name. We got this car. Wow. You may be thinking, why'd you buy these cars? Because in the bag of cars, there is this bumblebee. And you're thinking, oh, it's a really cheap, stupid bumblebee. Well, shut up. Because I like cheap, stupid bumblebees. Look at that. Ah! He just transformed in the blink of an eye. People don't go away. There's clone troopers in this thrift store hall. Ooh. Viewership just went up to 70. So, uh, there we go. I actually really like it. It's kind of like Gravity Bots. Do you remember those? Um, it's like a Gravity Bot. So these are, um, to be disposed of, because I don't want those. Thankfully, I have a trash can right by my desk, because I anticipate all the trash from thrift stores. Um, let's show off a couple loose things I got at the thrift store. Um, it is a Shrek. It is a Shrek. Ah, it's a Shrek. Ah. Now, Blaine Hoover, you're good. You're Gucci, fam. <laughs> Going back to that joke where I said that word is terrible. <laughs> yeah, we got a Shrek here. Um, He's in his knight outfit from when he rescues Fiona. Okay, we need to talk about the Shrek reboot. Because BT Productions just mentioned it. Okay. I uh, Why? Why? Illuminations making it right. The same people that brought you Despicable Me. Oh my God! Just imagine like minions and Shrek. Ah, uh, hey, let's take one of the most creative and unique animated movies. First, let's make a ton of shitty sequels, and then let's reboot it from the people that made the minions. That's a good idea, right? Oh man, kill me, kill me, dude! I love this Mr. Freeze. Oh my God, uh, his gun's really nice. Dude, Mr. Freeze is my favorite villain from anything from all time. I am... Oh, dude. I love that. Um, <laughs> Trump wants to drain Shrek Swamp. Uh. Okay, what other comments we got? Um, oh, Michael Tube, that's not sounding too good. We all have some pretty bad days, man. You just gotta remember that at least everything isn't going wrong. <laughs> Seriously, I've gone through some stuff, man. I can tell you. 
Count your blessings and don't focus on your curses. Um, speaking of freeze, I'm playing Arkham Knight. You Arkham Knight, gross. That's like the worst one. Honestly, though, it is. They ruined it. Uh, anyways, another little thing here. I know we've got tons of Bionicle fans. Um, this is the white guy from the uh, the the same line. It was like the the other line that was going around with the Paraka, Paraka, Paraka. Um, I actually have the full sized figure of this guy, but I saw this at the thrift store, and I thought, hey, hey, I want the little figure, the little mini fig. I don't remember his name, but I have the guy. It's not, it's not, um, uh, it's one of my favorite Toa, too. I really like him. He's not Kopaka, because Kopaka is the uh, original white one. He's, uh, somebody. Um, Matoro, Matoro Blaine. Yo, you better be right. Um, oh, you're so, oh, thanks, Asher. Man, I feel good about supporting, um, a small YouTube YouTuber as well, as in I support myself. Anyways. I think we should talk about one more thrift store bag. Then we'll unbox the other thing. And then we'll talk about the rest of the thrift store bags. Um, so, 99 cents for this bag. 99 cents. What have we got? I think I had one of these growing up. It's uh, um, one of these weird robot figures. He's like, oh, my ew. Yeah, now I remember why I didn't like it. Because it's like a stupid robot, right? It's all clear and kind of dumb looking. Then it's got like this person. How fucking lame is that? Ah, oh, man, that's dumb. I don't like that. Set that off to the side. Then we also have Eeyore. Oh, that's actually a really cute little figure, Eeyore. Um, I'll probably keep this. Because, hey, Eeyore, Peter Cullen, Optimus Prime. I actually like Winnie the Pooh. Eeyore was always my favorite. There we go. Um, I'm sad because I live in a house made out of sticks. Oh, no. Eeyore was homeless, man. He was homeless. That sucks. Um, this is cool, though. Um, what we got here. This is a motorcycle. But it's not any other, it's not any ordinary motorcycle. You may think it's a motorcycle. Hoo hoo. It's a go, go, go bot. I have one of the, I have one of them that says that, just like that. Go, go, go bot. So I guess you raise him up. And then there's his face. <laughs> go, go, go bot. I, have, I still have all my childhood go, go, go bots. Uh, that's, there we go. There he is. I don't know his name. I don't know where he comes from. I don't know his parents. Um, but there we go. There's this GoBot I have now in my life. <sighs> 99 cents? Well, technically 50 cents because Eeyore too. I like him. So here, here's what we have so far. So fall in the uh, in the little group, the little collective. Uh, well, there's one bag that has tons of stuff in it that I have no idea. No idea what I'm really going to get. Oh, I forgot. Got to have Jack Sparrow in there too, right? Jack Sparrow. Let's take a look at the comments real quick. Um, Shrek is kind of scary looking. I was debating not getting it because his face is really ugly. But it's only 60 cents. Um, Yoshi guy, you've been acknowledged. This is why this channel is awesome. Channel awesome! Whoa! Nostalgia critic! I know that's not what you're talking about, but... uh, <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, it's, it's superior to even... Are you saying this is superior to Evangelion? Dude, that's superior to Mobile Suit Gundam. It's so good. This little piece in here is loose and falling out. Dude, it's great. Uh, what else we got? Uh, we got... Uh, JC, we're all here for the clones. I hope you know. <laughs> you better leave me alone, man. Don't have to wait for the clone troopers. I promise it's really gonna be good. <sighs> Anyways, uh, let's see. I like a Transformer, but not as good. Hey, it's made by Hasbro. It's made by Hasbro. So, um, there's some. I'm I'm sorry. Everyone will be able to see your really meme comments in the in the chat replay. 
I'm going to have to, I used to address every single one uh, <laughs> when I used to start doing these live streams, but now I just have to take a break. Uh, will you take a, well, speaking of taking a break, will you take a break when you hit 9K? Nah, man, I'll, I'll keep going. Uh, I don't plan on taking a break anytime soon. It's just uploads have been, you know, even if I do take a break, I probably won't let you guys know because I don't want to be like, oh, I'm taking a break. Two days later, here's an upload. So, um, I'll let you know if videos are going to slow down, though. Like with me right now, college has even inhibited me continuing the bi-weekly hauls. Now it would be like a monthly haul. Speaking of haul, let's open this big bad toy store box. Because I'm really excited for this. Let's, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open it first off camera. Just to be sure that there ain't going to be no packing slip to completely ruin this live stream. Because we've been going for 15 minutes already. And we've had some really good, really good times, some really good memes, and I don't want that to be ruined. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, so I've already cut it open. I took a peek inside. I know what it is. I spent a lot of money on it. Uh, I do not order from Big Bad Toy Store normally. This is only my second Big Bad Toy Store. Click the link for so much more. Uh, it's only my second big bad toy store uh purchase the first one was uh, another figure from this company and uh what's the best to worst thing you got um like now like just in what i got here um the best thing so far is mr well this is going to be the best thing uh then mr freeze the worst thing is easily this dumb robot if you're talking my whole collection man that'll take forever Say say I if you hate Batman and Robin. Yo, that movie's terrible, but I love Arnie's Mr. Freeze. I love it. Do you have any Planet Heroes? Uh I don't. I don't know what they are. Um hey, someone got the someone got the reference with the Big Bad Toy Store song. Someone got it. So let's Oh, this box is huge. Oh my, this box is massive. I'm a little excited. I'm a little excited. <sighs> Ooh, okay, let's toss that in the box. Let's take the bubble wrap. Oh, this is heavy. It is Storm Collectibles, Mortal Kombat, Goro. Ah, oh, dude. Ah. Oh. I pre-ordered this thing right when it went up. Right when it went up. I I knew I wanted this thing the moment they revealed it back. I think like a couple few years now. It's been a while. Oh, okay. So, we got him right here. Let's uh, rotate it. And let's take a look at the Goro. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, I almost had a really bad thing. I almost... Did the same thing. I almost... Because they put the packing slip right in front. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Goro time. Oh, oh my God. He's all wrapped up. I can barely see him. <laughs> I can barely see him. Ah. Oh, he's massive, though. Oh, he's massive. Okay. Now it is time to open, because I need this in my life. A-S-A-P, my dude. This thing is really heavy. I'm not joking. He's really big. This is a really big figure, man. If you don't, if you don't understand, here's this pretty standard 6-inch Jack Sparrow. He's really big. Okay. This is... This is this this will very likely be one of my favorite figures of the year. Will it be my absolute favorite? I don't know. Um, should I keep? I should keep this plastic in case I, in case God forbid, I need to sell this thing. You know. Okay, so let's take out all of his hands first. I know they always make the hands kind of softer on these storm collectibles guys. Unfortunately, one thing they did uh, with the shooty out hands, they didn't paint the hands. It's all green. Um, I remember the promo pictures showed the hands painted. 
But that's not, that's okay. We're all fine. We're all good. He has a lot of hands. It's almost like he has four arms or something. Okay, let's look at this head first. This is the angry head. Ooh, that's nice looking. It's really nice looking. Ooh, really hard plastic too. Then we have the 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 hair. It comes with two different hairs. It's always nice. Hair variety. Let's lift him out. He's really cold. Cold boy. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, can't forget the display base. He has a little display base for his little shooty hands. I'm gonna throw I'm gonna have to throw that bag away. Okay, let's what I always do immediately after I open a figure like this, I immediately just seal up everything. Because I don't want to worry about it later. Okay. We need to have some fun with Cora here. Because I am already thoroughly impressed. If you didn't know, um, uh, watch my Ohio Toy and Comic Show video. I actually interviewed Daniel Piscina. He's the original actor for Scorpion, Sub-Zero, all of them. Uh, Johnny Cage. All of them. He's the original actor. So I already knew the main problem with this guy, unfortunately, is ankles. They just barely move. They don't really tilt side to side too much. I mean, they can rotate and kind of go up and down, but they don't really tilt too much. That's pretty much everyone's main problem. He's really chunky. Oh, creaky boy. He's a creaky boy. And one thing I liked about ordering him from Big Bad Toy Store, um, if anything does go wrong with this, they should be able to help me out. Um, but honestly, Storm Collectibles delivers some really quality products. I don't expect this thing to ever give me real issue. Oh, man. Dude, let's give him some hair, okay? We need to give him some hair. He needs hair. It's important. It's important to have hair when you're a giant four-armed monster. Prince Goro. Oh, dude. Ah. Oh. Be still my heart. Be still my heart. Okay. Can he simultaneously dab? And um, he can dab, but what else can we have him do? We can have him, like, invert dab. We can have him, uh, like, do the... Do like the Fortnite? <laughs> okay. We can have him simultaneously whipping Nay Nay! Whoa! Oh, dude, this is... Let's switch out his head. Because I really want to... I like the angry head a lot. Oh, man. I can't believe I own this thing. Well, I can. I mean, I, I pre-ordered it forever ago. But it was one of those things where I was I was wondering if they were ever actually going to release it. And here we are. Here we are. Storm Collectibles Goro. I, the only other Storm Collectibles figure I have is Sub-Zero. And that's the only other thing I've ever ordered from Big Bad Toy Store. I just, I just trust them to help out if there's a problem. I, I feel that uh, their flat rate $4 shipping is really fair. If you have his legs spread out, his when you rotate his feet... They uh, they do kind of pivot, but still, they're not the best. He has a toe joint that's really tight that I almost don't want to move. Because it almost reminds me of... Oh, okay, that's fine. Toe joint's fine. I've not been looking at comments, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just so enamored with this Goro right here. Here, let me... Okay, we're good. His feet were a little paint stuck, but we're fine. All of his joints are in working order. He feels... Dude, this is a Storm Collectibles figure. It... It feels really solid. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do a review on it. I might. I did not review Sub-Zero, even though he's one of my favorite figures I have. He's my favorite 6-inch figure. I really love the Scoro, though. I really do. Definitely up there amongst my favorite releases of the year. Definitely up there among one of my favorite things I own, period. <laughs> I love it. So, there's Goro. We're just going to stand him back there.
man. Okay, let's catch up on some comments. Because I'm still i still going to have to see everyone reacting to Goro. Because um, I didn't even... I didn't even have it, like, continuously going. JJC4, what are your thoughts on music? Breaking Benjamin is the best band ever, and if you disagree, you're wrong. Uh, lately, I've been listening to some Post Malone. I, I, I like Post Malone. Um, Paranoid is probably my favorite song from him. Hey, do you know Anita Takashet? She reviews Gundam. I do not. I do not know her. Um, I don't watch a lot of Gundam reviewers. I mostly just watch uh, Kakarot197, um, Zaku Aurelius 10, and uh, uh, Second Soundwave. Those are the main guys I watch. Um, I already saw your comment, um, Panda Pool Gaming and more. I already saw it before. <laughs> I'm not going to say it out loud. I, I like to keep these uh, monetized. Um, oh no, the Rogue Wookiee wanted to see a clone before he left. I'm sorry. Uh, watch the re the redo, and you'll. Uh, um, oh man, I'm sorry to see that uh, Panda Pool Gaming. Um, like I said earlier in the stream, a lot of bad stuff can happen, but you just gotta remember the good things that keep you going, man. Honestly, a few days ago, I was really having just like a bad emotional day. Then I just thought about my cat, because my cat is the sweetest thing in the world, right? And then I just. I, I, it's really corny, but I just felt way better, you know? I felt way better. And I'm not saying that's going to work for you. Because sometimes people don't have something like that to just immediately think of. But I'm telling you, man, it worked for me. And uh, I just wanted to put that out there. Hold on to things that make you feel good. There's the, the flame fist effect on the base there. Um... I know you're a big fan of Mr. Freeze, and I am too. What do you think about me and Robin and Mr. Freeze? I said earlier in the stream, I don't know if you heard, I love Arnie's Mr. Freeze. It's totally different. Totally, uh, totally out there and dumb, but I love it. Any thoughts on Gundam Narrative? It's not out yet, is it? Hopefully it's not, because if so, I don't know that it's, uh, out. Um, I haven't seen it, of course. It looks really good. Uh, I'm definitely gonna watch it. Uh, I really like the, uh, the fact that Narrative's kind of given us an HGC DJ. Um, so, there's Goro. Ah, what a nice, nice thing. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this is my night right here, just this. I'll take some Instagram pictures, I'll have fun with it, I will love it forever. Anyways, let's talk about the rest of the thrift store stuff. Also, let's, uh, get Mr. Freeze right there. Let's get, uh, up, oh, burp. Oh, another burp. Jack Sparrow right there. Let's keep Jack Sparrow right there. How about that? Jack Sparrow! Yeah! Um, can I... Will it keep to, uh... There we go. It is no not November, JC. It is? Oh, shucks. I totally forgot. <laughs> I got this. I got this. And I already have this. It's Animated Blitzwing. This was in the same bag as um, uh, Jack Sparrow, and the bag was $3. This Blitzwing is missing his cannons and his missiles, but other than that, he's all good. He's all good. He's all there. All of his faces are there. And I'm going to see if a friend of mine is going to want this, but if not, um, I'll probably just end up getting rid of it eventually. But still, too good of a deal to pass up. Good old animated Blitzwing. I love Blitzwing and animated. He's so good. Okay, next up, before we get on to the clones, the clones are going to be the very last thing. Oh, hey, it's Starscream. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's your favorite Star Wars action figure? What? Sideshow Cody. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Um, I got this. You may be thinking, what is this? What is this dumb-looking thing? Some of you may already know. Given his gloomy face and the fact he's got a diary. Is he a wimpy kid? Oh, he's Greg Heffley. This was, I think, 69 cents. And I thought, hey, I really liked those books when I was a wee little lad. So I went ahead and got it. There we go, Greg Heffley, my favorite boy. Um, diary of a Wimpy Kid, if, you, uh, if you're older... 
well, if you're really any age, they're actually intended to be a young adult book. Um, they're they're pretty funny. I've I read up to like the fourth or something. I don't know. I had to stop after a while. Okay, this is it. The clone bag. This has a clone in it, and we're gonna see who's in it, and we're gonna see what else is in it because this is actually really really um, this is really stuffed. This was not a cheap bag. This was a four dollar bag. Four dollars. So let's get into it. See what we got. We got a skateboard. Wow. Tony Hawk. Birdhouse. Whoa. What else we got? Um. We got circuit boards. Hoo 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 hoo. It's a circuit board. Um. Yeah. Tech decks are the only cool boards, man. Young Justice. Whoa. It's Kid Flash from Young Justice. Honestly, these are actually too thick to break. This one, what's this? This was not a tech deck. No way. It was the, it was a circuit board. I forgot. I forgot that quickly. If it's not a tech deck, it's trash. We got a um, oh a circuit board circuit. Okay, circuit board circuit. We have military man number one. There's a lot of military man in this bag, and uh, I. I don't care. We got another circuit board. Whoa. Like I said. Oh, it's another Tony Hawk bird boy. Look at that. Tony Hawk birdhouse. Whoa. Let's look at that break, man. That was a pretty sharp break. Look at that. Oof. Oh, man, I broke that boy. Broke that board. Oh, no. We got a blue military man. This is from the core, I believe. This is a core figure. If you're watching this, I don't remember who you are. Someone said they actually collected these, and I felt really bad for them. I don't know why. Uh, hey, my bro's here. Circuit boards are a subline of tech deck. <clears throat> oh, no. Some, uh, oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, uh, it's a core guy. <clears throat> and he's <coughs> making me cough violently. <coughs> Okay, uh, it's a board. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a guy. He actually looks kind of cool. I kind of like him. What else we got? Oh, we got our first clone trooper. He's a uh, Kashyyyk, forty first elite, missing a hand. Um, I wanted this because I might find a hand one day. Hell, I might even have a hand. I don't think I do. But hey, oh, it does kind of look like the Team Fortress guy, doesn't it? Kind of looks like a Team Fortress guy. Um, do you like clones? No, I don't. Um, nah, man. JCC2224 is a discount JCC1004. He's the one that came up with the name. Um, there's, uh, there's that. Okay. I like him. I'll find the hand one day. Oh, here's another Korra guy. Kind of looks like, um, oh, he kind of reminds me of, oh, what's his name from Batman? Uh, it was the... The 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 ex exterminator is that what he's called? He's just kind of got that look to him. He looks like an exterminator. I like him though. He's kind of cool. No, it's not snake eyes. It's discount snake eyes. It's dumb eyes. Got a really cheap military man right here. Him. What else we got? Got a couple more circuit boards. Whoa! And this one actually has the circuit. Whoa! It's good circuit, boy. Whoa. What else we got? Puzzle, six plus. 50 pieces. Are all of them in there? Oh, it's taped up. Let's find out. Let's find out if the puzzle has all the pieces. But I'm not going to count them, and I'm never going to build it. It's starting to sound like, hey there, Delilah. Hey there, puzzle, what's it like in Cincinnati? Are you full of 50 pieces? Are you a complete nasty piece of shit? Because I once got a Marvel puzzle that really was gross and sticky. So here's um, what we got going. I don't know why I wasted your guys' time doing that, but I did. Oh, what a, oh, we got a woman. <laughs> oh, no, no. 
You're not ready for this. You are not ready. Okay, let's... You're not ready for this. So there's her face. It's a pretty womanly face. But holy shit, she's got... Oh, man. <laughs> oh no what have you okay correction that is not a womanly face that's a really ugly that's a that's ugly even for a man that's just a really that's not a, that's not even a face oh even the butt is who sculpted this like a like a horny fourteen year old that doesn't even know what women look like, huh? <sighs> Man, that was bad. You know it's not bad though. It's a little monster truck with a green goblin. Um, what else we got? Got some guns. Always nice to have some guns. They look vaguely six inch scale, but they look really bad. So why would you use them? Uh, we got another military man or a police man. Ooh, he kind of looks like Miles Bennett and Dyson, but after he dies. <laughs> uh, Miles Bennett and Dyson. Uh, uh, Skynet. I don't know. I'm using the Arnie voice for his own voice, but I am. Uh, more guns. Where's Jack Sparrow? He's right there. There he is. Um, okay. Another gun. I'm saving the other clone in here for last, by the way. It's uh, wheels for the skateboard. Okay, we got even more military people. We got, ooh, we got a secret, secret balaclava scope boy. I, I was always a sucker for these kind of guys growing up. Anyone with a mask and like a cool visor, I, I liked. Oh, we have another Miles Bennett Dyson right here. Oh, he does kind of look like Sam... No, it, it, not really Sam Jackson from Pulp Fiction. Um, kind of looks like Sam Jackson from The Incredibles. <laughs> Seriously, it looks like Frozone. Um, okay, what else we got? Oh, we got another core guy. I gotta give it to the core. They're not the worst. They're not the worst things I've ever handled. I actually really like this head sculpt. I mean, it's not the best, but I really like it. It's a nice head sculpt. It's a unique face. Kind of reminds me of Duke, if Duke was dumb. But these figures feel good. I wish they could move outward at the legs like G.I. Joe's, and it just bothers me that they can't. But other than that, they, they're they generally poseable. They can pretty much do much of what you... Uh, much of what you want. Okay, this guy's butt's been staring at me. This is how he was posed in the back. Um, I'm not a WWE kind of guy. Guess who the wrestler is? Uh, before I turn his head around, um, did you guess John Cena? Well, you're wrong. It's this guy. I don't know who he is, but that's who we have. I think he's probably better than Goro. I'm not going to lie. I think he's probably a better figure than Goro. So that's a shame. That's a shame. That's where we've come to. Anyways, the clone. The last clone in this bag. There's only two clones, but this is nice. Um, it gives me some custom fodder, and it allows me to uh, switch out one of my yellow to 212s. It's Pedro Pascal. Is that who you're saying, my brother? Um, who knows? Uh, okay. This is the last clone. It's Commander Davis with a 212 body. I don't know why, but this is what I have. It'll be nice, though. I can use this head with the scope for a custom. I have a spare pauldron now, and I'll have a full um, body to use for customs. So this is nice. Did you finally watch Pirates of the Caribbean? No, I didn't. I haven't. Earlier in the stream, I said I haven't. Um, so, yeah, I just have that. He's a custom 212. He is. He's... He's the, the 212 sniper. He's the red on his helmet isn't isn't actually a part of his deco. That's just blood that he's painted on from all the, the Geonosians he sniped. He's he's an elite captain. That's why he's got a pauldron. His name is Captain Killshot. He's the coolest clone 
ever. Captain Killshot, he he likes utilizing large weaponry. Um, one of his favorite weapons is this weapon right here. He calls this one the 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 nerf double uh, the nerf barrel break. <laughs> This is the barrel break right here. Because it'll break any barrel that you'll ever throw at him. A barrel of fire. And that's nothing to kill shot. Kill shot. He's, he's the best. Legend tells that one day, kill shot came across a giant monster. So powerful, he removed hands off of other troopers. You know what kill shot did? Raised his finger. He went pow and scared him shitless. Kill shot. The best clone ever. Okay, that's there we go, kill shot. He's he's someone make someone please make kill shot fan art for me. Please. I will I would love some kill shot fan art. Um because I think kill shot's probably my favorite clone trooper now. Commander Cody step aside, it's all about kill shot. Um, so yeah, there we go. There's the thrift store stuff. There's my unboxings. We got Goro. We got this awesome Mr. Freeze. And we got all this thrift store stuff. I think this was a good, um, a good day. I think this was a good stream. And I enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> I'll stick around for a little bit. I typically make them about an hour, but I think I'll probably cut this one off at about 50 minutes. Um, I'll take any questions you guys may have. I'll take any questions. Uh, before you ask the next video, though, it's going to be a clone corner. It's going to be another every clone ever. Just wait and see. Just wait and see what it is, man. Um, your thoughts on Wimpy Kid Reboot? I don't know. I don't know, uh, anything about it. I just remember I read the books when I was young. When I was your age, I remember going to the book fair and buying myself some diary that wouldn't be good. It was the best book series that I believe has ever crowned the earth. Yeah, um, I have no, I have no idea about a reboot. Um, <clears throat> what parts is Killshot made out of? He's made out of a Commander Devis head and shoulder pad and a 212th body. He's the elite sniper of the 212th. Yeah, Scholastic Book Fairs, man. Did you watch uh, Anita Takashet? I, I know you mentioned her. Um, I haven't because I've been busy doing the live stream. So, <laughs> Captain Killshot. Uh, I'm. I probably won't. He'll probably be. He'll probably be. be, be he'll probably be made into a custom one day. Um, he is made out of anger and dark energy. Legend tells the Killshot was actually a defective clone that somehow made it through the batch because he was better than all the rest. But he actually kept it secret that he was defective. His defect? He is a sociopath. He cares nothing about any of his troops or anyone that he kills. <laughs> Captain Killshot. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah. Man, I feel drained. <laughs> I feel drained after kill shot. What am I going to do with all this tech deck stuff? I have no idea. Yo, bro, if you're still watching this, let me know if you want me to set all this tech deck stuff aside. And I'll uh, I'll let you have it if you want it. I mean, if not, I'm just going to get rid of it. Because I've never been a fan of tech deck. JCC, should I send you a box of a bunch of my childhood clones that have been destroyed by five-year-old me? Do it, dude, if you want. If you wanna, um, if you wanna send me some, uh, some uh, anything in the post office box, feel free. Uh, the address will be in the description of this live stream after I'm done. Um, is he part of the Bad Batch? <laughs> no, he trained the Bad Batch. The Bad Batch was after the time of Killshot's time on Camino. Killshot, uh, he's also an Arc Trooper. Um, cause anyone who's a cool clone is an Arc Trooper. Arc Trooper Captain Killshot, member of the 212th Sociopathic Clone, and Force Sensitive, <laughs> Force Jedi Arc <laughs> Jedi Arc Clone Captain Killshot. 
Oh, man. Oh, please. Someone make fan art of Killshot. I fucking beg you. Ah, oh, I love him. He, he will be a recurring character. Um, He'll be a recurring character. <laughs> I can't promise that, but... um, Okay. Captain Killshot of Captain Rex, he would win. Legend tells that Captain Fordo was bested by Captain Killshot. On the training fields of Camino, Rex wouldn't stand a chance. Um, <laughs> where's Killshot? A Star Wars story. Did he commit Order 66 or was he too cool? I'll tell you what. Because he was a sociopath, Captain Killshot executed Order 66 without mercy. Captain Killshot was there on Coruscant. During the time of Order 66, it was responsible for 200 Jedi deaths. Personally, Captain Killshot went on to lead many Imperial regiments, but later found himself bored by the Empire. He ended up uh, deserting to join um, the Mandalorians. Captain Kill... Arc... Jedi... Jedi Arc Captain Killshot became... <laughs> <laughs> became the next Mandalore after um after pre after Darth Maul's fall. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Mandalorian Jedi Arc Clone Captain Killshot. How many how many titles can we give him? Um Killshot is not Supreme Leader Snoke. Killshot Trained Supreme Leader Snoke without even knowing it. Um, <laughs> if you don't know what a Mary Sue is, Captain Killshot is a Mary Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Killshot is the coolest clone ever. He's not flawed. At, he's not flawed at all. Um, <laughs> oh, man. I was going to, like, answer questions, but I just went on about Captain Killshot. I'm Captain Killshot. And, oh, guess what? His you would think that, like, normal clones would talk like this, right? Captain Killshot. I'm Captain Killshot. I'm the most dangerous clone ever. I kind of sound Australian, but I swear I will kill you. I'm Captain Killshot. Most lethal. Um, legend says he killed Yoda with the Force. Yes, he did. How did you know? Um, <laughs> I believe the correct name is Gary Stu. Um, Killshot is so badass he transcends gender. <laughs> Stop spoiling the Mandalorian. <laughs> You deserve way more subs. Thanks, Above Ground Ruler. I think Captain Killshot's gonna have to pay you a visit for your birthday. <laughs> Captain Killshot, on his free time, attends birthday parties. However, he charges a hefty fee. <laughs> do you have Clone Trooper Slick Chopper and Gus? I do. Um, I think I had Sergeant Slick, was it, in my rarest clone video? Uh, you couldn't really tell it was him, though. Uh, uh, checking canceled because Disney's too much of a kid-friendly company to allow sociopath to be a clone trooper. <laughs> well, hey, if Jake Paul's a sociopath and Disney allowed Jake Paul to be on um, that show, then I think Captain Killshot has a chance. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, OC clone troopers are really cringy. I mean, if you've made him, that's fine. I made an OC clone trooper way back. His name was Khan. He was a blue arc trooper. Um, but uh, that's dumb. Uh, but I've I've seen, like, OC clones where it's literally just, oh, I'm a recolor of Captain Rex, but I'm green now. Oh, I'm a recolor of Cody, but now I'm blue. And he, they're like a super mega elite clone. 
<laughs> in Legends, Killshot got taken out by a single battle droid. Now, that's not Legends, man. In Legends, Killshot... Killshot was the best. Killshot is so epic, he transcends both Legends and the new expanded universe from Disney. He's a part of both. Man, we're 50 minutes in. I think now it's probably a good time to end this because I can't be I can't be wasting all of my kill shot material in this live stream. I might make a video on kill shot. I don't know, man. We'll have to see. We'll have to see where kill shot goes. Um, let's look at Goro though. Let's end the live stream on Goro because he's my favorite thing ever. And hey, I love him, and I hope you love him too. And I hope you enjoyed this live stream. Sorry about the little mistake there at the start. Um, I'm happy I got that fixed. I would have felt really bad if I continued this wonderful live stream having the guilt that I may have accidentally leaked my address. So, um, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> I appreciate your patience, and I appreciate the awesome amount of viewership we had throughout the whole stream. We're 50 minutes in, and we still have 40 viewers. That's insane. Um, I love you guys. Thank you all very much for this video and for the YouTube channel. Um, if you want to send anything in the P.O. box, send it my way. Um, if you want to send in your own OC clone troopers, <laughs> be my guest. We'll join Captain Killshot. Um, <laughs> uh, social media links down in the description below. I'll have some pictures of Goro and maybe this Mr. Freeze as well on Instagram. Probably tonight or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I got a big paper to write for college, so. I don't know if I'll start that tonight or if I'll just wait tomorrow. Who knows? Anyways, guys, thank you all very much. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing any important comments here before I... Uh, how did he die? Captain Killshot's fate is currently unknown. <laughs> um, but as far as we know, Captain Killshot survives by the time of The Force Awakens. <laughs> Captain Killshot was seen in the background of Mass's Cantina during The Force Awakens. Um... Your OC died in mid cloning. <laughs> what was his name? Like, um, 6969. He should form an elite squad of OC clones. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay, guys. Bye bye. I'll see you in the next video, live stream, whatever. This was a blast. <laughs> Captain Killshot says, dab on those haters, because Killshot always knows best.